Hello and welcome back to your own channel, Indian Defence Analysis, where we bring to you the latest development happening in the defence sector. The development of a fighter jet to operate from a deck of an aircraft carrier, especially the Stobar type, is much more challenging than the aircraft designed to operate from land. India at present has two aircraft carriers INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant, both are Stobar type. The naval fighters have to be heavily modified to have a heavy and sturdy undercarriage because they have to take off from a very short runway and have to be literally crash land on the aircraft carrier during arrested landing and stop within few seconds, which puts a huge amount of pressure on the undercarriage. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has gained significant experience in developing naval fighter jet via various naval Tejas prototype being developed which have already demonstrated numerous landing and takeoff from the deck of INS Vikramaditya. India is now all geared up to enter into the next saga of development of deck-based fighter jet TEDBF or twin-engine deck-based fighter. The fighter jet is being designed and developed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, and will be manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. TEDBF is going to be twin-engine fighter in medium weight category. It is being designed to perform missions such as combat air patrol, deck launch interception, anti-ship strike, maritime strike, land attack strike, escort jamming and body refueling. The fighter jet is expected to replace in-service MiG-29K. Indian Navy has given commitment for procurement of 45 fighter jets when it is ready for production in 2031. Indian Navy and ADA are working closely on this project. ADA has earlier worked out two configurations for the TEDBF program, Delta Canard and Trapezoidal with Tay. Indian Navy has decided to go ahead with the Delta Canard wing configuration. The same model was displayed in Aero India Show 2021. The design of the frontal section of the aircraft has been improved for reduced radar cross section. The Canard wings will help in generating more lift for the aircraft while launching from aircraft carrier and perform aggressive maneuvering at low speed and aid in the landing. The fighter will feature folding wing configuration, which helps the aircraft to occupy less space in a confined hangar of the aircraft carrier thus also reducing the footprint of the aircraft when parked on the flight deck or inside the hangar. The fighter jet is 16.3 meter long. It has a wingspan of 11.2 meter when unfolded and 7.6 meter when folded. The fuselage of the aircraft has been designed to improve its stealth characteristics. It will feature diverterless supersonic inlet to provide controlled and better air flow into the engines further improving its stealth. The heavy usage of composite, radar absorbent material coating, indium tin oxide coating on canopy is going to further improve its stealth. TEDBF will borrow most of the cockpit technologies like next-generation wide area display and side stick controls from the Tejas Mark II and AMCA program. It will also have the same high-powered digital flight control computer along Uttam Mark II SR Adar. It features an IRST sensors, next-generation radar warning receiver DR-118 and dual-color missile approach warning system. The aircraft will be designed to have network-centric warfare capability. The fighter jet can attain maximum speed of Mach 1.6 and will have service ceiling of 60,000 feet. It will have G-limit of plus 8 to minus 3. TEDBF will be powered by two GEF-414 engines to attain maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons which exceeds that of Rafalim. The aircraft will reportedly have a payload capacity of 9 tons on its 13 hardpoints. TEDBF will be equipped with indigenous and foreign weapons. In the category of air-to-air -air missile, it will have Astra series and MBDA's Astra. In air-to-surface missiles category, it will have many options such as Brahmos-NG, Harpoon anti-ship missiles, LGB, 
hammer missiles and spice 2000 bombs. The first prototype of TDBF is expected to be rolled out by 2025 and first flight is planned by 2026. TDBF production has been planned from 2030 onwards and rollout of production variant by the year 2031. Thanks for watching the video and supporting us. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.